Hi everyone, it's me, Alma, and I'm sorry I have to kind of speak a little bit softly because everybody's asleep and this is the only time I have today to make a video, but um, I wanted to show you guys this program that I have on my computer that allows you to turn um, any 4x6 photo into wallet sizes. Um, if you've ever printed out pictures like at Walgreens or Walmart, and which I'm sure you do if you're watching my channel, most likely you're a scrapbooker. Um, you know that wallets actually cost more per sheet than just a regular 4x6 picture. But this program allows me to be able to print out wallet size pictures on my HP PhotoSmart uh, photo printer that I have. So it's really cool um, to have, um, you know, if you make mini albums or if you do toilet paper roll albums, which I'm actually planning on making one here in a bit. So I'm running a on my, I, this is my PC desktop. Uh, I recently purchased a MacBook Pro, and this program doesn't work with Mac yet. I did send them a Facebook message saying that I hope that they could get a Mac program in there because I'm trying to get all my stuff moved onto my Mac. But for now, we'll just work on my desktop. So this program is called Photo Sheet, and let me zoom in to where it is on my computer. So we're gonna on. On my particular computer, it's I have the start, and then down here is the program photo sheet. I'm going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop so you can see it. And sorry about that. You saw me. I didn't realize I didn't have it on my desktop. Well, anyway, so we there we go down there, and we're going to go ahead and click on it, and it opens up this window. And it's just a small little simple window and you can see this grid right here this is the preview of what's going to be printing on your sheet so take for instance this is your 4 by 6 sheet it's gonna allow you to make four different wallet size images so we go down here to where it says vertical and that's where you can sh choose which sheet of paper you have so um, I'm working with a 4 by 6 so we're gonna click on 4 by 6 and it changes the size up here. And the cool thing is that it doesn't just allow you to make four images. You can choose different grid sizes. For instance, uh, three by two, it gives you six uh, rectangles, four by four, so it's really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to regular four by four, which I believe Oh, now I can't find it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. There we go. Two by two. Okay. So I'm going to move this to the side for a little bit. Then I'm going to open up my pictures right there. And this is my uh, picture, I guess, folder on my computer. So just to show you a quick example, I'm going to be using some pictures from this summer right here. And all you have to do is just take your picture folder, have it open, have your photo sheet folder open, and you're going to drag your pictures to this box right here. So here's a picture of me and my daughter. I'm going to drag that up there, and you can see the preview right there. Now, I can print out four different four of these same pictures if I wanted to, but since I don't have a need for four of them, I'm just, I just want to keep one, so I'm going to go back and drag a different picture, so let's drag this one over here, and there you go, it drags a different picture, now that's not a very good picture, but you get the idea, so let me do one more so you can see, or two more, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this picture right up here, back to this box, and it adds it down there. And let me choose one more picture. This picture down here of my boys. Sorry, like I said, I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. I'm going to drag it one more time over there. So see, it keeps adding pictures. And I accidentally changed my grid on here. But you get the idea. So it's really simple. Pretty much all you do is just drag and then print. So I'm going to go ahead and finish dragging a few more pictures onto this box. Let's do this picture 
right over there and then one more so now I have my one photo sheet now has six different pictures and I'm gonna go to my photo printer which I have right here I don't know if you can see it's right here and I'm going to go ahead and print it hold give me one second I did forget to mention that before you print you are going to save this so I'm just gonna start which is the same as save and that's it. It is now saved to this folder, and you can see down here that it added my picture from Photosheet down to that same folder that I was taking those pictures from. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is a menu that comes up whenever I'm going to print something out. So I'm going to go up to Print. Print. You can see my printer says HP Photo Smart. I am printing on a 4 by 6 sheet of paper. And then Print. And now it is printing. And I have my printer right here connected to my computer. And it should be starting to print. Okay, so as you can see, um, my printer is now finishing printing my pa paper, I guess, my picture. And you can already see the different pictures on this one sheet of paper. It's just, it's so awesome of a program to have if you are a scrapbooker. I mean, look at that. So one 4 by 6 sheet of paper got me six images, and I would say these are roughly about 2 by 2 each. I could be wrong, but here's the proof. So this is perfect for mini albums, and it's just, it's such an awesome program, and the program is free to download. You go to photoutility.com, and right down there, I'm sorry, not photoutility, it's phototility.com, and you just click on photo sheet, and I already clicked on that for you, but you just press download, and it's free. It downloads onto your desktop, and you can now make your own wallet size pictures. Um, like I said, they don't have a Mac version yet, but you if you have a PC, you definitely want to try this out. Alright, so hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Sorry for um, just the quiet voice, and I'm really sleepy, so sorry for the all the kind of constant blabbering, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.